Hi guys, welcome back to S Chamberlain 5150's YouTube channel. So I left you off in the Smoky Mountains. We kind of had an issue. Um, when I was rolling into Maryville, uh, the motor ended up making a bunch of noise. Really sounded like top end. I don't honestly know what it is. So I ended up getting the bike trailered back from Tennessee and then uh, we're gonna tear it down and see what we find. Um, I guess we're gonna go with the possibility of we ate a camshaft, we broke a valve spring, or, you know, just something with the, the rockers having an issue. Um, but we got a couple issues with the top end. I really don't wanna start it and do any more damage to show you what it uh, sounds like. So me and Mark are here at the shop and we're gonna tear it down and we're gonna see what the damage is. 70,000 miles on this bike. Um, I haven't tore into this motor at all, just the push rods, other than we did like rocker box gaskets uh, in the past like 35,000 miles. So it's been a really solid 124 build. Um, it's got the SNS 124 jugs and pistons, um, CR480 cam, HPI 62 millimeter throttle body. Um, I have a welded and straightened crank. The same drugs and pistons have been in it for at least 50,000 miles. I think I did that, the 124 kit when the bike had about 17,000 miles on it. Um, so it's been super reliable setup, not a super crazy build. We were like 124 horse, 142 foot pounds of torque on a uh, horsepower inks dyno. You can see that whole dyno video from about a year and a half ago on my channel. So we're gonna see what the damage is and see what happens. All right, so we got the, the rocker boxes off this thing and not seeing a broken valve spring yet. It looks like all the, the rocker bolts are still there and tight, not seeing any cracks. There's no like super telltale signs yet. So we're gonna give the motor a spin over, kinda run through the valve train and see it, but nothing obvious yet. Keep going, dig deeper. So we weren't finding anything uh, wrong in the top end yet. That was super obvious. Got the, the cylinders off it. Um, I guess we're gonna see if we have like a cracked piston skirt. Got a little loose carbon on the top. Um, front looks good so far. Piston looks pretty terrible on the back side. Yeah. Oh! Maybe a little piston rock was the was the noise because it wasn't so prominent when the bike was extremely cold, but it was super loud when it was hot. So, um, and then during this whole issue, um, it, I was just rolling down the highway, and then we kind of got off for an exit, and I'm like, I thought I was hearing some stuff on the highway. And then it just got worse and worse, and I was just trying to make it out of there. Rotate the motor a little bit. Oh. There's
if they just weren't cleaned or if it's like burnt or well i'll be honest i kind of had a terrible decision we did the the bagger racing league and then i didn't change the oil then i rode the bike all the way to sturgis so okay. and then i changed the oil in sturgis so might have been a terrible decision could have just been a long haul with the same with the same oil non-synthetic oil 50,000 miles on this top end. I'm not complaining. That one's a little groovy. Focus. Mm. Yeah, you can see a little scoring. Mm. It's not bad, but it's groovy. Okay. So, wait. Shh. Jello shot break. One. Wow. Wait, guys. One. Okay. Two, put it on your tongue. Three, celebrate. Three, two, one. It's definitely loosening hardening. Yeah. Uh -huh. so we did this cam about 35,000 miles ago, and uh, when we did the, the 124 rebuild, the paint, if you guys haven't seen that whole series, have a whole series of building this bike, so I'm uh, losing a little hardness. I'm not seeing anything no, super crazy. So we're going a little side to side. I did have this crank welded um, before, but if I don't know if this microphone's going to pick it up. Right at the bottom of the stroke, you can hear this little, so I'm gonna be quiet. Definitely has a weird sound down there, for sure. So we have, we found some damage on the, the pistons. The pistons looks pretty scored. Cammed, kind of losing its hardness. Didn't look like a crazy amount like that, but there is some, some little crank noise. And then this back rod definitely has a, a decent amount of side to side, so. It's not even side to side, it's like twist. Because shifting it side to side, there's not a ton. It's like twisting side to side. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe this whole bottom end might have to come out here and we'll split the cases. Kind of curious to see what this run out's at. So yeah, might have done a good number on it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll set it to the, the high side, hang on. So that way the video is easier and lines up better. <laughs> That's a lot of movement, bud. There, let's set it at zero. Let's see where she ends up. Nine, zero, nine, zero, nine, zero. Oof. She done, she done fucked up there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh well. Well, I think we're gonna end this video right here. Um, this bottom end's gonna come out. Obviously, it's gonna come apart. Uh, we have a big issue, so we will get this corrected somehow, some way. Um, SNS Cycle, uh, feel free if you'd love to sponsor S Chamberlain 5150 Racing Team for a set of flywheels and 131 pistons and cylinders makes me heads. I'm just saying, you know. So we will uh, we will see what happens. Looks like we got ninth out run out. We got some decent scoring on the Pistons. Um, it's honestly, go look at my back videos, my racing and all that and the wheelies and the cross country travel. It hasn't had the nicest of life. So I don't want to hear any stupid comments like, oh, this, I'd have destroyed a twin cam too. I would have destroyed a Evo too. Like it's nothing against the M8, just, this is what happens when you're hard on it. So, all right, just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. So these are your uh, your stock soft tail flywheels. And you've seen like that twist and everything that we had. And there's almost nothing on this front cylinder or rear cylinder, I should say. And the front one has just almost nothing also. Like yeah. Just a tiny, tiny amount. So obviously, obviously, something, something's deeper than where we can tear it apart with the motor and the bike. So, oh well.
on that pump plate. Oof, man. A little bit. It's gonna let pressure bleed. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, she does she does eat a little bit in there. She does eat a little bit in there, Steve. Uh, <laughs> that's a new pump of plate. It just keeps getting more expensive and expensive. <laughs> It's a bad lifter. It's not a lifter, it's a socket. It's a snap on, it'll break anyway. Snap on, break off. Oh, look at that. It's had some serious metal go <laughs> through it. Ugh. That's half the piston and everything. Serious grooving going on there, buddy. The crankcase says it's not as bad. It's a cam side that's all bad. Get this to come out. Come on. Yeah, crankcase side, not terrible. Cam side. Very bad. Very bad. Big sad. Big, big sad. Number 64, BRL. Let's go. Is that your fingernail catching it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is getting more expensive by the minute. She, she done buggered up. <laughs> 